Jason here, wearing my AirPods and walking down the street. So I can teach you a fantastic little trick about how to sync up your audio with your video inside of Drop Zones, because Drop Zones on their own do not carry any audio. So now I'm sitting here back in front of my computer. You can see I've got this placeholder footage sitting here, which is just a drone shot. And I'm going to use this M Intro 2 number 13 here. Now this is a logo drop zone, but this will give you guys a bit of an idea about something creative too. So let's drop that on our timeline here. And that comes in like that. And let's find the point where it actually starts having the very first shot of the drop zone, which we can see there's the logo there. So let's put a marker on there with the M key. I've already got this title highlighted. So the marker's right there on that spot. Now, I wanna go back to my media pool and grab in the second video that I have here and let's drop the audio in there as well. Now the audio will automatically, even if I try and put it up here, will fall underneath the videos because it's just simply audio. Now I did actually clean up the audio here so you can hear all this noise on that one. And if I drop the volume on this one here, hear how much quieter that is. And hence why I've got a second audio source. Now you can see here that it matches up. And as you Okay, so we got the end. And actually it ties out very nicely there considering. So now I want to highlight both these two clips here. And in this circumstance, because I've got an audio and a video, I need to turn them into one clip. So I can either on my trackpad here, I can two finger tap on a mouse, you can right click. And you'll see the top option here is new compound clip, which is option G. In this case though, I'm going to hold down my option key and hit G. Now this is going to be called DZ2 because that's really what it is. It's drop zone number two that I'm, well, the footage for DZ2 audio. That's gonna work. We'll hit okay on that. And let's turn that into one clip there. If we wanna get inside the drop zone, which I do wanna do here, I'm gonna double click. And now I'm inside the drop zone. I'm gonna add M film look to this. And I'll find a preset that I like. So we'll come over here to the inspector for the video inspector. And we'll go to the M film look presets move this down and out the way. I'll use my keyboard shortcut of control command one to close the browser that was on the side. There it is again, there it is gone. I'm gonna find a preset here that I like the look of. Here's portrait. I love him film look, it's so good. And I'm just gonna hit okay on that. And I will turn off the widescreen bars because I don't need them for this. And I think I'll just leave the rest of it pretty much as it is for now. <laughs> so I've got that working. And as you can see, he has not use it. Yeah, that feels like the sync of bang on, which is good. So this button here goes back in the timeline history so we can get out of the compound clip back to our main timeline. Close the effects browser. We can actually remove this from here now that we've figured out the right spot. So we'll just hit the delete key while it's highlighted. Click on our title. Come across here to the title inspector. Click on the drop zone well. Now we can either push this button here, or as you'll see there, the shortcut at the end of that is exactly what I said before, Control Command 1, which I'm gonna hit. And I wanna get this Drop Zone 2 footage into here. So we've already selected the Drop Zone well. We'll now click on the footage itself, we'll click on the very first frame here, and we'll go to Apply Clip. And you can see that's already come up there inside the Drop Zone. If we move the playhead up here a bit, now that's very small right at this moment in time. So what we can do here is we can actually zoom this in a little bit like this here and we might even be able to get a bit more scale out of this thing let's have a look at the logo scale and see what we can do with that so we'll go to the logo size there we go look at that now it does have in this particular one's preset a point where it kind of gets too big and starts disappearing so that looks about right there let's try and resize this down a little bit there we go get a bit more of the atmosphere and now when we play this back we have the video sitting inside of there, but we don't have the audio. Now I could have left it here, but I just wanted to do this so you could see step by step. Now when we grab our compound clip drop zone number two, we just drop this in underneath here. So it'll actually be hiding behind our front video of the sky tree. The audio is gonna kick in, and which it did just then. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull this clip back a bit, which is exactly about there. 
and I'm going to use the option and the right square bracket shortcut that clips the end of that and we'll just quickly get a transition very basic cross dissolve drop that on top make them nice and short so it just allows that audio just to smoothly come in and smoothly go out because there's still a little bit of noise in there and here is the final end result of watching that video except we're going to go full screen and as you can see the audio and the video have synced up perfectly together which is exactly how it should be wasn't even that hard to do hope you guys really enjoyed that one please like subscribe share with your friends anybody who you know that uses final cut pro and this is all about teaching you guys about these little tricks to get things done thanks for watching see you in another video sometime soon bye, -bye.